Hi, this is Scott from Mtron Australia. We're at SEMA 2018. So I've been tuning for around about 20 years. Rally, drag racing, circuit racing, time attack, ski race boat. I'd have to imagine nearly every single form of motorsport I've been involved in tuning. Sprint car racing, everything. Uh, Tilton Interiors would be by far the most famous uh, car that I've been involved with in tuning. Uh, we took out three uh, pro, pro class uh, rounds with the uh, World Time Attack. Our famous drift car will be Bo Yates' uh, GT86 that we've been involved with the tuning uh, with that. TRP, uh, 300ZX, world's fastest and quickest RB uh, powered car. Roll Racing uh, wins with uh, their Red Rocket Evo 9. So the reason why I, I think Mtron eventually came about was that due to my experience with tuning cars uh, of all types of uh, motorsport, tuning a lot of different companies' ECUs is you find weaknesses. And it, it becomes frustrating because you want to do a certain thing and it, and it won't allow you to do it. So eventually, it was a no-brainer that we needed to make an ECU company and then and make it do it. At creating Mtron, there was a massive gap in the market between the ultra-high-end ECU and what I would call the baseline entry-level ECU. And the problem is, is that the ultra-high-end ECUs are obviously massively expensive to purchase and not attainable to most people at, at what I would refer to as maybe club-level motorsport. So Mtron is really gold towards being in that middle middle range there and uh, available to people. At World Time Attack, it's been a very fruitful uh, <laughs> event for us. Uh, I'd say since we started in 2013, we've maybe taken at least at least 10 podiums in that event, which which is a proud moment for, for, our, for our team. I think we have taken every single category in the event at World Time Attack. Well, World Time Attack 2018 would have to be our proudest moment. Uh, starting from the club sprint level, we had the elusive motorsport uh, Integra, which won club sprint. And moving on to the Pro-Am class, Costa uh, with the Tilton Interiors Evo, who won and took out the outlet rap, lap record with that car. The Porsche, which took it outright with a, a record uh, winning time of 1 minute 19. I would say the Porsche is obviously maybe the most advanced, certainly the most advanced time attack car in the world, and maybe one of the most fastest actual cars in the world outright. It's, it's a very proud moment to, to feel that, that, that these guys are actually trusting us to supply them an ECU, and it, and it did the job. So our ECU range starts from the SL series. We run from a SL4 to an SL8, and at SEMA we're going to be releasing a SL6. That's a 68 pin connector ECU. Uh, extremely powerful and light and compact is, is the name of the game for that one. Then we move up to our KV series. Our flagship is the KV16M pictured here and it is a 16 injector, 12 ignition, mil spec ECU and then we go to our automotive connector if you will ECU range of the KV8, 12 and 16 labelled as such because of the injector count. All of our range is motorsport based, so they can all be used equally as powerful in a motorsport environment. The only main difference is, is the channel count between the ECUs. The KV series is a 120 pin connector ECU and the SL being a 68 pin connector, it's a lot less. We created the SL off the KV, we stripped the pin count down to 68 pins and decided to work out what was the best channels we could put into the SL. The KV series all had two onboard Lambda, two drive-by-wire, the KV 12 and 16 are four drive-by-wire. The SL has single drive-by-wire, for example. The KV series has peak and hold injector drivers and saturated injector drivers. The SL series only has saturated injector drivers. The power between the two ECUs, uh, model ranges, is basically identical. The channel count is the most important differentiation between the, between the ECUs. We also have all firmware is open. So if you wanted to have a circuit race car like the Porsche, you paddle shift, traction control, launch control, anti-lag, any of those functions are all included completely with the ECU. There's no buying another function. So the price range starts from the SL4. That's a $1,950 ECU. And it goes all the way up to a full mil spec KV16M, which goes to $5,600. Our plug-in range uh, is commonly very Japanese car based. Uh, Subaru STI 2006 up to current. Uh, R32 to R34 Skyline, R35 GDR. We are looking to expand the plug-in range based on what the demand is from the, from the customer base.